Hi and welcome to today's pattern drawing video. So last year I made these two screen prints, the same design, just in different colours. And I'll link to the video here where I show you my process for making them. But the pattern that I surrounded the words with is something that I came up with um, thinking about kind of finding joy in the small things. So I'm going to show you how to draw this pattern here. So it's got several different elements. Uh, so it's got some circles and some squares and then some slightly more complicated shapes, but nothing too complex. And it's just a case of repeating those and getting them to go in different directions. And that gives you this kind of detailed, lively pattern that you'll see all over these prints. So there are a number of different shapes in here. And I wanted to include like lots of different small shapes, but quite simple shapes. And it kind of makes it look like you're looking down into a toy box or they're like sweets or something kind of like little and quite cute, but something that you could kind of have a good rummage through. I've got some squares and they're at all different angles. But they're all kind of roughly the same size. And then I've got some triangles equilateral triangles. So I'm trying to make each edge the same length. And then I'm trying to make the edge of the triangle about the same length as the edge of the square. And then there are some circles. Again, trying to keep them about the same diameter as the square. And from there, we can start uh, multiplying shapes and uh, making them more interesting. So I've also got a series of shapes that are like pipes. So they're kind of like fingers and they come out from other surfaces. And then the circles can also be half circles. And then you can repeat them and make like little rainbows. And then you can have a range of half circles coming off an object or you can have a range of triangles, smaller triangles coming off one of your bigger objects. And then we might want to do something like join all the ends of these together and then maybe join them like that. So we've got these little three little shapes and then we use the smaller shapes in between them to join them all up together. And we just keep repeating them in different ways. And you can think of slightly different ways to join them together. So for example, I might want to have a circle here and then I might want to repeat some circles around that. And then I might want to have some more pipes, but they want to come out at a different angle. And then we've got this little awkward shape in here. So that needs something to fill it. So maybe it needs a little circle here. Maybe I can fit in another couple of triangles there. And then maybe there's another square comes off here. And then that has a series of small half circles off its side. The middle one, we can do some like rainbow shapes over that. And then we can do some triangles that go all the way around here. And then we're going to make them smaller so I don't go off the edge of the page there. And then maybe a bigger circle. And it's just a case of keeping going and filling in the space with combinations of these smaller shapes. When you start drawing the pattern, you might spend a while thinking about what's the next shape that you're going to do. Is it going to be a half circle? Are you going to do a little row of little triangles? Um, but then after a while, it just becomes like second nature and you don't really think about it. You just kind of draw the next shape.
you may think some of your lines are a bit wonky, but don't worry too much about it because once they're all in together and once you've completed your whole pattern, you won't notice. And you won't notice some shapes are slightly bigger than others and you won't notice the ones that have got slightly odd angles. In fact, they'll kind of make it. It makes it look hand-drawn and it kind of gives it character. So I'm going to go and continue and fill the rest of this page with these little shapes. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed that. If you give it a go, I'd love to see it and you can post it on Instagram and tag me at Lou Rachel Davis. So this pattern makes a really good uh, colouring in sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post uh, this to a new area of my site which has downloads on it. Um, and so there are black and white works like this that you can use as uh, colouring pages or you can use as traceable sheets for the watercolour exercises that I'm doing. As usual, the standard disclaimer is please don't resell anything that I provided. The two screen prints I've made with this pattern on are available on my Etsy store and you can find those at the link below. So I really hope that you give this a go and I'm looking forward to seeing your versions of it. So uh, take care and I'll see you in another video very shortly. Bye!